So this is our stock house, and this is uh, tunnel one. We call this number one. And the reason being, it is the first tunnel that went up here that uh, my father put up. And it's actually lead water pipe that is, uh, makes up the hoop. So it's one of the earliest tunnels that we got on here on the nursery. I think it went up in the 1970s, but he'd know more about that. And it is now down in a situation where, when it was put up, it was actually grown for vegetables and this was open ground. But now, the trees have grown up and it's got a little bit shadier. So we use this now as a stock, plant, uh, a, a stock house, which for us is vital, where we propagate most of our plants ourselves. We, all, we obviously need a place where we can allocate the plants to go and no one's going to buy them. They're not going to be lifted and taken for sale. So everyone knows that it, stuff in this tunnel is, is off limits. And then when we're propagating, we come on into this tunnel and we select whatever plant we think is ready to go. So for instance, if I grab this Epimidium, uh, it's a very timely thing at the minute. This is Epimidium rubrum, which is just poking its head up now. So you could have done this earlier, but we'd actually do this a little bit later. So with its late dormancy, we'll go ahead and break this um, root system up, the rhizome, um, trim the leaves off, pot it on, and maybe out of this one get, you know, up to 10 plants, for instance. So it's vital to do that. If you want to get the numbers, uh, you have to have the plants. So that's why we use this stockhouse. Now it's it's very useful as well because it's a very sort of controlled climate. We've got the doors open, we grow them quite hard, and we basically just let the plants grow on. This is a very good method for perennials especially, which can easily be regenerated. You can always move them on quite quickly and uh, the regeneration bit means they're never staying in the pot too long. You're, you're knocking them out, getting the root system down, breaking it up, repotting it. Where this doesn't work so well, which is why we were planting buddleias in the previous video, uh, is for shrubs. And shrubs don't have that ability to regenerate as easily. They tend to get old and they tend to get leggy and woody and they want to be in the ground and they want to grow big. So if you're going to do stock plants for shrubs, they're much better in the ground. There are a handful of shrubs in here that do... Um, that are the exception to that. This is Herbertia, Spring sun Sunshine, which is a lovely plant actually, and it's in flower now. Now this is a little bit choice, so we wouldn't want to stick this out in, in, the, uh, in the ground and hope for the best. So this is the perfect sort of candidate for, from a shrub point of view to go in uh, our stock tunnel. We've also got overhead watering as well, so we can uh, water little and often. So I tend to put this on more or less daily as we start to get into late spring and into summer to try and keep things, everything moist and growing as opposed to some things being wet, some things being dry. And obviously because of that, there's a lot of things that wouldn't actually prefer growing in here. Where it's a little bit shady and where it's probably run more of a wet system, some of the silver leaf uh, plants which prefer hotter and drier climates, we move them into a separate tunnel. So it is best to put all of these plants together and grow them on if you want to do this. Now you could do this at a smaller scale at home or in the garden or, or whatever, but from the nursery point of view, that's how we do this and we line them up. It's a very useful thing. Uh, we will start going through this. Obviously there has been a change, if you saw the first video, there's been a, bit, a slight change in the nursery. So where we've got so many in here, I mean we've got about 10 leucanthemums there for instance. Well I've got to be honest, going forward in the short term, 10 to 20 leucanthemum is probably enough. Um, <laughs> so where we would then split that up and maybe grow on 100, 200 liners in the 9 centimetre pots, we're having to scale that back a little bit, which is no problem. Um, we're in the good position of having too many, too much stock, which is perfect. It's no problem. We can sell off a little bit of the stock plant. So that's where the next thing I'm going to do is come in here when I get a moment, check through the stock, decide if there's some that we can sell on, decide if there's stuff that needs to be divided, and um, try and highlight some of the plants in here that are that have now become very high priority because they're sought after slightly rare unusual plants and we'll go ahead and propagate them and they'll be ready for sale on the website very soon so hopefully this has been of interest a quick little view into our nursery which is what this series is this is our stock house this is how we keep our plants healthy and ready for propagation and in the next few videos that will be coming down the line we'll start to go more into the propagation so we'll come into this tunnel Maybe grab one of these plants, split it up, divide it up, have a look at what the root system's like and the potting on of those plants. And that should give a bit more continuity to the stock process. So we've got the buddleias out in the stock bed and the shrubs that we've got. These are more perennials inside the tunnel growing on in pots. Then we'll get into the different propagation methods for each plant.
So thanks for watching and until next time stay tuned. Please consider giving the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.